Еще пять рекомендаций. Five more recommendations that you might want to take note of. You will never experience any violation of your rights if you adhere to the following dogmas. Remember, no one owes you anything. And even if he does, it's better to think that he still owes you nothing. Count only on yourself. No one has to protect you. No one has to support you. No one owes you anything by law, by any laws. Your government owes you nothing. Your parents owe you nothing. Your children owe you nothing, as well as your husband or wife. No one owes you anything. It's just you. If you adhere to this principle, you will get rid of false expectations. Expectations and the need to deal with someone else's inability to fulfill your hopes. Next, foster critical thinking and distrust within yourself. Ask yourself questions. Who needs it? Who did it? Who benefits from it? Do not believe the promises. Always double check. That's the second. Keep your distance and attention. Do not let people get too close to yourself unless you've eaten a bushel of salt with them. And even better, do so several times and see what happens. Be aware of your surroundings. Pay attention to how people act. Their behavior matters. It is clear that no one is perfect, and those who are close to us and our dear ones whom we once fell in love with and for some reason are still in love with are by no means perfect either. Just remember that if you possess power, then your beloved ones are your responsibility. That's the way it is. Remember that. Don't rely on them. Don't give them any reason to count on you, but remember that you are responsible for those who are weaker than you. And those you love, of course. Next, you must learn to understand which level everyone is on. It's very easy to offend someone who is superior, but much harder to make amends. Therefore, it's better to show some extra courtesy than pay for rudeness half of your life. Remember that politeness is the privilege of kings. It is better to initially be polite and delicate than regret bitterly about the mistake you made. Because people with a truly high existential volume, as a rule, are never disrespectful or arrogant. They know that politeness is not a weakness. People of a lower caste don't know that. You can easily distinguish people of a lower caste because they typically respond to politeness with aggression and rudeness. Learn not to do this. Learn to at least emulate the behavior of those belonging to the higher hierarchy of warriors, rulers, and mages. Never lower yourself to those below you. And the fifth, in order to avoid being cursed or spoiled, always keep your promises. If you cannot fulfill them, do not promise, not even as a joke. At least in this sense, you will be protected. Don't put yourself at risk and you will be protected. These are my recommendations and my advice to your colleagues.